What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Monism. I have a surprise for you guys. We have this package from PRL, a little sneak peek. I'm pretty sure some of you know what that package is. If not, you're just gonna have to stay tuned for a near future video. Last night I removed my rear shocks and the reason why is because I'm finally getting coilovers after a whole freaking year of you motherfuckers bullying me for my right height. Not just playing, it's all fun and games. As you guys can see from the title, I'm gonna be picking up these coils for a steal. I won't reveal how much I got them for until later on, so you're just gonna have to stick till then. On Black Friday and Cyber Monday, I ordered a shit ton of parts and they're all arriving this week. We're gonna be uploading like crazy. If you guys wanna see how the SI comes together, be sure to subscribe to this channel as well as turn on your post notifications because you don't want to miss a video from us. We mentioned so many things. Sorry, I'm out of breath. So in our YouTube video, sometimes we mention merch releases as well as upcoming plans that, that we don't really post on Instagram or TikTok. All right, y'all, we got the coils right here. As you can see, I picked up some D2s. This shit is freaking clean, man. So they are previously used, but they'd only been on a car for less than 500 miles, I was told. So these things are practically brand new. I got them for a steal, couldn't refuse. We're gonna do a little test fit right now. All right guys, so we got the first shred on this bolt right here. I still have to put in the second one, but yeah, so these, sorry, not shred, shocks, but yeah, these shocks reuse the OEM hardware. So yeah, I'm gonna get this in right now. All right, y'all, so these two at the top, they are 12 millimeters, but the one on the right is already tightened, and I'm working on this left one. And yeah, the shock will be on after that. Then I still have to take out the control arm to remove the spring, but I don't know if I'm gonna get to that today. Okay, got it on. Now we're gonna do the other side. Okay, so now I'm actually not working on the other side, but I'm still on the same side. I'm gonna get the control arm out. I have it jacked up. So the reason why I have it jacked up is because the spring, if the jack isn't there and you take this pin out, the shit is gonna like swing down hella fast, so just be safe. Okay, so we just got this out from the control arm. Right there, it's still on the um, the jack just because the spring has a lot of tension. We have to get off the rear sway bar link right there. So we're gonna do that right now. Okay, loosening it up. Ah, it's almost out. And we just got it out. I just got this part. I got the control arm disconnected and we're gonna lower the jack and uh, take the spring out and replace it with these ones. Oh, these ones. Now, we got this part out. We're gonna remove the spring. Motherfucker. Oh shit. Oh shit. All right, we're chilling. Now that this is disconnected, we have our OEM spring right here that we no, no, no longer need. So if anyone wants to buy these from me, just hit me up. I got the brand new Bluetooth shocks going on. I'm gonna go in here and take them. There we go. Don't worry, I made sure to torque them down with this. Oh shit, oh my god, it's so bright. We're gonna have to get it jacked up right now because my dumbass tried taking out the bolt to the control arm yesterday. Take this, this bolt out. We're also going to remove the other one for the um, rear sway bar link. And once that's strapped down, we're gonna take out the spring, do the same process we did for the other side. Hey guys, it's day two now, but um, I'm going back and redoing the rears, just flipping over the, the spring because yesterday I accidentally put them on upside down. I am also putting on the, was it the insulators? As you can see, it is just the spring and the adjuster. So we're gonna toss on the insulators and put them right side up. Got it back on the car, see? The adjuster is now visible. We're gonna go ahead and connect the bypass module. Here is our bypass module. I just have a zip tie on it and um, that is what we have to connect it to. All right guys, I'm here with Bernie, the owner of Bay Tires over on 420 Victory Avenue, right? So yeah, if you guys need your tires, wheels, anything checked out, we also have an auto side right here. This is the side my uncle works on. Be sure to hit him up, give him some business. We got everything locked in. We're just gonna slide the wheel on and then lower the car. Shit. Don't worry, I know about the whole star pattern thing. These things aren't even on all the way. Now we're gonna drop it on the ground and make sure everything is torqued. Shit! We just lowered it. Oh my god, is that like maybe a finger or something in there? But yeah, that looks good. This is the other side. See, the front is still not done, but look at that. We're gonna lower it some more. Damn, this thing looks crazy. Sorry, it's kind of dark. We had to toss a, a wood block under there, two by four, just because the rear is lowered, but this shit looks squatted. What the fuck? 
Okay, that is my uncle right there. He's the one who owns Bay Tires. Right. First side is the left. Got everything unbolted and we're just taking it out. Got the top pad unbolted, except for, sorry, it's out of focus. Except for this one. You excited, Brady? <laughs> Damn, it's still going. That looks a lot better. For sure gonna lower it some more. Damn. <laughs> Finally fixed that stupid ass ride height. But uh, this dude wants me to go even lower. <laughs> Big shout out to Bay Tires and Bay Tires Auto for letting me use their space. And thanks to my uncle for helping me. And thanks to this dude for also helping me. <laughs> they love it. I've been wanting to lower my car for over a year. Damn, the wheel gap still got about <laughs> a finger a finger and a half right there. That's a lot better compared to like fucking the two fingers I had before. And it is the next day. I have to go stop by society over in San Bruno and then after that I'll be showing the homies the car. Uh... <laughs> yes sir, yes sir, I know you see it. But yeah, this is it in the daytime. A lot easier to see. Look at that. We got about it's like I said, one and a half finger gap in there. We're gonna lower it some more. I don't know when, but I didn't have any spanner wrenches. So right off the bat, the ride quality definitely improved. It's not gonna be as soft as stock suspension for obvious reasons, but I'd say these D2s are a really good balance between comfort and track capability. Every time I go over a pothole now, you definitely notice it because it's a lot louder for one, and also it like rattles your ass. But hey, we're lower now, and I can finally take turns faster. All right, y'all, we just got to society. We're about to go on right now. I can't get over that, man. One of the most annoying things before was my wheel gap, and now that's like solved for the most part. But yeah, it looks great. Here with the owner of society. This is my homie Matt right here. Right. You like it? Like, just lowering it down by like, like a finger. And yeah. A I know, it looks better. It, like before, it's just like disgusting. Now it's just a finger, man. Jeez. I'm trying to go lower. Lower? Yeah. I'm, I'm just old school like that though, you know? Like I'm just a dad. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> nah, cause this is, a, this is like a finger and a half right there. Oh, my fingers are kind of fat. So, <laughs> <laughs> so like, I don't know. Uh, oh. All right, y'all, time to show you the results. So this is what we're working with now. As you can see, I actually lowered the fronts about half an inch from what I did the previous day. So now it's only a finger's worth. Same thing with the rears. I didn't touch them, but they did go lower. Only a finger's worth now. Oh my God. Personally, I think the front looks amazing. The rears could use some work. Um, I'm looking to trade my wheels for some 18 by nine and a half or 18 by eight and a half. And uh, the offset I'm looking for is like plus 38 because I hear that's really good with this platform. Here are my OEM front, sh oh shit. Here are my OEM front struts as well as my rear spring. So if anyone wants to buy those, just DM me on Instagram or comment down below. They're just gonna take up space, so I'd rather sell them. So if anyone's parting out their car, you know who to buy front struts from. Unapologetically, the title is clickbait, kinda. So I told you guys I would tell you how much I got the coils for. Brand new D2 coilovers with the bypass module cost $1,400. The coilovers that I bought were on this guy's car for less than 500 miles. So they were damn near brand new. I looked at them, I was like, these shits are clean. Like barely any brake dust on there. So I saw the listing on Facebook for $1,000 and he was looking for some rear shocks as well. And if you get in the rear shocks, then he would bring the price down to 800. So I messaged him, I said, I'll give you my rear shocks and 600. He said, deal, I'm selling the bypass module for $100. I was like, I'll take that too. Cause a brand new bypass module is gonna be like 300, 400 bucks. And the day I picked up the coils, he messaged me saying that his friend had lost his spanner wrench. So he took $50 off. And I ended up picking up these coils for $650. I'm not gonna buy a spanner wrench just because honestly, I don't really need one at the point. I just did some quick calculations, but we picked this shit up for 54% off of what brand new ones cost. That's insane. But like I said, I'm gonna build this thing to be a type R killer. And you know, we're doing really well with staying on budget. Also big shout out to my uncle Ed for letting me use his shop and for walking me through everything. Cause without his help, it probably would have taken me double or triple the amount of time to do the install. Big shout out to Bernie for fucking bullying me into getting coils. No, I'm just messing around. We're all, we're all chill with each other. If you guys need any work done to your car or your wheels, be sure 
sure to hit up Bay Tires. They're located on 420 Victory Avenue over in San Bruno, I believe. They're super chill guys that do amazing work. Just tell them that Chris sent you. Uh, you're not going to get a discount or anything, just so they know. But, 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 what is a video that isn't plugged? Don't forget to cop yourself some Modism merch because we just restocked the largest and extra largest for the hoodies as well as the oil slick banners. And let me just say, the oil slicks, they sell out so fast as well as the largest. So be sure to hop on that. These things can be purchased at Modism.com. And if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications just because it really does help me out. And like I said, we're trying to grow Modism to make it worldwide and just Oof. We're, we're we're close man we're we're close honestly like this is only the beginning and it's a great start so instead of hopping on the bandwagon too late just just subscribe right now it's not gonna hurt you i have a shit ton of parts coming in because of black friday recently so expect many videos to come i'm not gonna be gone for months like i was last time i'm gonna be more active on this channel i'm gonna be putting in 110 percent of my effort all the time so if you guys want a fun channel to watch you Come on, you're home. You're home already. Yeah, that's all I have to say for this episode. But anyways, I love you guys and I'll catch you next time.